there and welcome back to Circuit the World. My name is Alice and today we are back doing more magical potions. Last time we had the magical G and T which changed colour when we added the tonic water. I still don't know how that worked. I'm still pretty bemused by the magic of that potion and I'm very excited because today we have another one. Now this one is called the Serum of the Loose Lips. Uh, that's kind of all I know <laughs> about what's going to come in the box. So without further ado, let's just get our next potion in. Ta-da! Now, some of you might be wondering why these boxes are open in these videos, unlike, say, the drive box videos when I open them with you guys on camera. The reason for that is that because they're recipes, sometimes they have additional things I need to buy in, like additional ingredients, like last time we had the lemon I needed and the tonic water and all that stuff. Um, so I normally open the box up and then just pull out the scroll, try not to look too much at anything else, and just pull out the scroll to read and make sure I have all of the ingredients in stock that I need before I sit down to record. Without further ado, let's get into it. So this one, as you notice as well, this box is a lot bigger than the last box we had. Um, so opening up the box, the first thing we have is another little card. This is a syrup guide. Follow these simple steps to magically to a magically delicious homemade syrup. Okay, now I do know we don't have to make this today, so we don't have to suffer through the terrible lemon incident as we did last time, um, but there is a bottle of syrup already in this pack, and basically when you run out, there's just this card which lets you know how to make it, so you can continue to make this cocktail even after you've used up your stock. So that's really, really helpful. Um, in the box, we don't just have one of these kind of plasticky things this time, but we in fact have two. So what I'm going to do, like I did last time, is just get everything out of the box and then get rid of the box so we can go through what we've got. But I'm not going to do that like a muggle. Oh no. So much quicker with magic. Yeah, we have the two um, plastic, I don't know, protection boxes. This box actually didn't seem to be in too much of a state as well. Um, as I said in the last one, my delivery people were not very good at bringing them to me in nice states. This one's okay. Um, so again, we're gonna go through the documentation first, which is this little stuff here. I do believe it's gonna be pretty much what we had last time. So again, we have a bookmark once again with the same logo on the front and make magic real on the back. So that's the same. Uh, another little ticket, which is again, now this one's yellow, the last one's orange, but again, it's just telling me to sign up to their mailing list. So let's get the same stuff. Uh, the postcard. Oh, I have two. Why do I have two? Two more save the date. Again, this is just kind of... So what these are is they're little nods to the Equity of Magic thing, which is the investment scheme that I discussed in the last video. Uh, that's still going on. Again, links to all of that down below. If you want some more information on that, either go watch the last video or um, just check out the links down below. What's really cool about these is they also have little cocktail recipes on the other side. So the cocktail you can see on the front it actually got the recipe on the back. So that is why I thought last time I might need this as my instructions, but obviously I don't because we had the cool scroll. And lastly, we have this little bookie. So let's see if that's any different. Yes, it does say the same thing it does last time. So that again is exactly the same as it was last time. Right, let's get into these bags. I'm gonna go with this one because I know the scrolls in this one. Um, so let's, just have a, let's just get everything out of here because we've got a few more bits this time. We have a bag of stuff, uh, a plastic filter I've already pulled out. Um, let's get the scroll as well. And this is our magical bottle of syrup. Now, I don't know about you, but this is the single coolest thing I have ever been given. It actually looks like a real proper potion. I absolutely adore it. I think it looks so cool. And I love the fact that it's in this kind of potion-y bottle because it just totally adds to the whole, oh god I made it glob, it just adds to the whole um, aesthetic they're trying to go to and really kind of brings you in the mood to do potion making with your potion bottle so I absolutely love this. So we have a bottle here, this is a bottle, ooh it's got like a, a symbol on it, uh, I don't know what that is, um, it did say engraved bottle, so maybe this is our um, cocktail, potions, pan of paraphilia uh, for this box. Last time was obviously the glass, which we'll see in a minute because I have that down to use again. Um, so maybe that's what this is, but there we go. There is a bottle. And now in our bag, something metal. Oh Christ, oh God. Uh, right, put the bag to the side. 
Uh, we have paper filters, which I assume go with our plastic funnel. So good. Um, obviously the scroll, we have these tags, which have nothing written on them. This, which is actually really helpful. <laughs> I said in the last video that I didn't have a measure and I couldn't be bothered to go get a measure. Well, now I have a measure. So we got a single shot, which is 25 millimeters and a double, which is 50. You look at them like this and a double just looks so much more than uh, a single. And then finally we have this. I don't really know what that is, but it's something in a jar. Shall we see if the scroll will let us know what our something in a jar is? Okay, let's have a look at this month's scroll. So WizKit Purely Potions Serum of the Loose Lips. So the kit includes the 500 milliliter engraved Art Artsian bottle with cork. Sorry, I said that word wrong. A 200 milliliter bottle of homemade peach and vanilla syrup. A jiggler, jigger, which is our measuring tool. Didn't know that was what that was called. Um, final paper coffee filters syrup guide. But it doesn't tell me what my little jar is. So other things I will need is a spirit, brackets, vodka, Aperol, fresh lemon juice, whole milk, and a good sense of fun. And so I will go and get that stuff all together and then we will be ready to crack on and craft the serum of the loose lips. All right, so everything is ready for us to get going with our serum of the loose lips. Good though it's in my jar, hopefully we're gonna find out. Now I have my glass, but I also have the bottle still here to my uh, right. But I don't know whether I'm gonna have to like make it up into the bottle and then from there you pour into the glass. I'm not quite sure how it's gonna work. So let's get cracking. Step one, mix all ingredients excluding the milk into a mixing jug and stir thoroughly. My mixing jug is too small, as you can see. So give me one second. In Gorgio. <laughs> Now we are set. So everything needs to go into this. So I, I need, apart from the milk, so I need uh, 50 milliliters of, of these. These markings are so faded. Let's start with the vodka, 130 mil. So vodka is Russian vodka. 100 what now? So it's the only problem with the scroll that keeps scrolling back up. So it is fun to do that. 130 mil. I had a good guesstimate. I guesstimated last time, it was fun. Um, I'm on mil, it's on mil. About there. Cool. Vodka done. Next. Aperol 50. Shit. So, like, is there anything else that isn't quite 50? 100 mil on the syrup. Shit, let's just guess it. Let's just guess it. It's kind of halfway between. Ooh, ooh, ooh! I don't think I've ever smelled Aperol straight. It smells good. So it's kind of. No, well, it's a little bit below that 50, so I guess just kind of. God, I hope I'm doing this right. Things are going to go very wrong very quickly. Stop. It's about there, I think. Um, next is 75 milliliters of lemon juice and all I have to pour out is this silly little thing. So this is gonna be fun. There's 100 milliliters in this. This is gonna take forever. Can I not just take the top off? It's gonna be so much easier if I just take the top off. Can I not take the lid off? Guess not, all right. We'll do it this way. So 75, I'm kind of thinking to the next line. Oh, this is going to take forever. Give me four and a half years guys and we'll be there. Ah! I found a magic. Oh, oh, ah, that'll do. That feels better. Oh, there's a dent in the lemon. Deal with it. And then finally we need... Smells good. 100 milliliters, is this, how much has this got in it? Again, 20 centiliters. That doesn't help me. That didn't help me last time. It certainly doesn't help me now. I've done a very good job of sealing it so it doesn't leak in transit. So I'm kind of on that lines of crime. I'm gonna go to the next line. Ooh. That didn't smell quite like I thought it was going to smell. Let's go. Plug, 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 plug. 
Now I wish I had like a measuring cauldron. That would be so much cooler. And stop. Cool. And just recork that off. Awesome. Okay. Step two. Add milk while continuing to stir the mixture for a further 45. Oh shit, stir thoroughly. Shit, shit, shit. God, I needed to stir so thoroughly I didn't even have time to magic it. Just had to go get this one. Okay. Does not really say how long I have to stir for and this is quite loud. Sorry, I'll try and keep it quiet. So I've just read ahead. And it's not a make now, drink now kind of situation. So step two is add milk while continuing to stir the mixture. How much milk do I need? 130. I can't tell anymore, I've lost control. I've completely lost control. The magical illusion is ruined. I had to go get the other one back. Because I can't work out from where we are what 130 is. So we're going to have to use the little jug. I'm sorry. It was movie magic, not real magic. I'm a fraud. Um, 130. So kind of just above that line, I guess. Oh, that went. Let's go with that for a stop. And then it says, add the milk, continuing to stir the mixture for a further 45 to 60 seconds. So I'm going to pour with my left, and stir my right. I'm just going to move the glass out of the way. So I'm elbow off the table. And we are stirring, stirring, stirring. It's got a very strange colour. Just keep stirring. What's going to happen? Is it going to thicken? I'm not counting a minute. Could be problematic. I'm going to make a guess. I tend to do a lot of guesswork in these videos, which probably isn't a good idea. Oh, there's a weird thing happening. Because I've put lemon and milk together and that doesn't normally go too well. Right, I'm going to keep stirring whilst I read the next instruction. So, oh, it's wet. Step three, once stirred, allow the mixture to rest for a minimum of 30 minutes at room temperature. For best result, leave the mixture to rest for 12 hours slash overnight. So this was kind of the answer I didn't want, which means I've gone to all the effort of setting up right now to have to stop because I can't finish this now. So this is fun. For you, this is going to be the quickest overnight slash whenever um, ever because you won't have to wait at all. So this one is different from the first because the first one was make the cocktail, enjoy the cocktail, drink the cocktail. This one is more of a process, um, but you are, I, I kind of figured that when we first when we got the bottle and secondly when it asked me to have so much of each ingredient. Like I was never going to make a one-off cocktail with 130 milliliters of vodka. Uh, that just was not going to happen. Um, but basically what it seems like it's going to happen now is this now sits to rest in the milk and the lemon and everything else, do whatever they do together. Um, and then we will strain this basically with using the filters until it becomes clearer. And when it becomes clearer, then it goes in our little bottle and then the bottle then lasts until it's gone. Um, best kept in the fridge and best drunk in the first seven days. So what's going to happen now, unfortunately, is because I can't do any more. I could sit here and watch it for 30 minutes, but really I want to leave it overnight because that is what it suggests you do. So that is what I'm going to do. So what I'm going to do is use some magic now to spin us forwards in time to when this is ready to go and we are ready to filter until clear. <sighs> is everyone okay? Sorry, it's like the first time I've ever done a time traveling spell. Things might have changed around a little bit, so I'm sorry about that, but are we all good? We're ready to carry on. So, as you can see, this has been chilling for a very long time, but we didn't have to worry about that. Now, some potions need to brew overnight. Some potions need a long time to get the real magic working, so that's why everything's a lot lighter now and there's no need for my candles, because we have come about 12 hours into the future. Step four, fold the edges of your filter back on yourselves, on themselves over a second empty jug so that the filter stays in place as you pull the mixture through it. Is my filter big enough for this jug? Yes it is guys, that is awesome news. All right, so I'm gonna fold these edges. I'm almost tempted to use some spello tape to uh, make sure this doesn't move. Let's see if I can 
Let's see if I can wangle it without the spell of tape, because I don't want it to just suddenly seep into the thing. Okay, we're looking okay. We'll see how that goes. Um, so that the filter stays in place as you pour the mixture through it. Okay. So, it looks a bit like um, strawberry milkshake. Oh, it does not smell like that. That smells so good. Oh, I'm excited about this one now. Okay, so what I'm going to do is try very hard to hold the filter in place and the spoon as we pour. Here we go. Is anything happening? You guys might be able to see better than me. Ooh. Hang on a second, is it coming through clear? What? It's pink, why is it coming through clear? Also, can you overfill a filter? That's the next question I have. Do we overfill the filter? Is there a hole? Is that a hole? I think it's a hole. I think it's supposed to be doing this. Guys. That's a hole. We overfilled the filter. So it turns out that's a thing. I think that's a hole. I'm confident that's a hole. So much so, we're gonna go again. We're gonna get another filter. It's a good thing they gave me loads, huh? rep on the um, painful coffee filter filtration it didn't work really really didn't work um, I don't really know why it was just literally you've not seen all of it um, because there was a part of it where I basically threw a hissy fit I was straining and filtering for about an hour and we're still at this stage which is still pink it still needs to be clear um, I'm now out of coffee filters because I broke two um, trying to speed up the process and well, the first one you saw broke, the second one I broke because I was trying to speed up the process. And then in the last one, I just completely lost my mind and nearly lobbed it across the room. So we're, we're not doing that anymore. My mum has very kindly found me this thing, um, which is uh, for making gin, I think, but it's basically got like a, I don't really know, like a little mesh bag. It's like a filter, but it's a proper funnel thing. So we're gonna try that because the perk of this is that I can actually leave this doing this walk away uh, and go and do something else and not get stuck holding it um, like I was, like you saw. Also, this fits and stays over the bigger jug, which means um, I, well, I mean, the, the reason I didn't want the, the filters touching the other ones in the smaller jugs was because I didn't want the bottom of it getting wet and then breaking and then completely making the filtration process pointless. Um, so I would put this over there, but it just seems a little bit like silly so we'll just put it on the big one um, I'm gonna leave that going so for this kit I guess thoughts at this point are firstly um, the coffee filter bags are rubbish uh, and take forever you need to have and be willing to wait a long time because the recipe says a couple of minutes I swear to god it is not a couple of minutes unless I was doing something wrong with the filter bags which I don't think I was this is, this was from Amazon I think it's about 10 pounds if anyone's interested in getting it and if I can find it I'll put a link below because like I said my mum got it it's not actually mine so it's my mum so I'm borrowing it enjoy the next time lapse because I'm literally going to do this and walk away but yeah hopefully next time you see my face we'll be re-robed again maybe not with the candle set up but we'll be re-robed again and um ready to finally try this thing. I am sorry a little bit, the magic has kind of seeped from the end of this video. I'm just so done with trying to get this done. And like I said, it shouldn't be this hard. Um, and something that's a monthly subscription box that's supposed to be a little bit of fun. Maybe, maybe if it's gonna be a project like this, you should at least give warning. Because the first one does not suggest that they're going to be projects. It suggests it's gonna be a quick 20 minute drink that you do. Um, so just some food for thought there. I'll probably recap those at the end of the video, but I just thought I'd give my two cents before we get back into trying to um, filter this damn potion.
And finally, we are there. <laughs> man, oh man, that took a lot longer than it should have done, but here we are with the serum of the, serum even, of the loose lips. Um, it's, it's chilled, as you can see. Um, I couldn't get it quite as clear as I wanted to. Um, I don't know whether that was because I wasn't using the cover filters and I was using the different kind of filter that I was using. So maybe there's something in that. Not entirely sure, but I'm pretty, I'm still pretty happy with it. I'm kind of glad that it's not super clear. I'm not mad at the fact that it's got a little bit of colour. I also had a look at the information we had, because we have this jar of whatever this is. I think this is half a vanilla pod, because to remake the syrup uh, that we put in here, I need vanilla pods. So I think that's what that is, considering we haven't needed it to use anywhere else. So, with all that said and done, let us take a look, finally, at the final step of this potion. Step 9. Once the mixture is chilled for 100... It does say 100M. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's milliliters. There's just no L in it. Once the mixture is chilled, pour 100 milliliters of it into a mixing glass, add ice to the top and stir clockwise for 20 seconds. Once stirred, use a fine mesh strainer to transfer the drink into your glass serving vial of choice. Use wisely and enjoy the effects of a clarity of a clarified conscience from anyone who consumes. Mmm. So I need more stuff. Because obviously I need more stuff. I don't know why I didn't foresee this coming. So let's just stop messing around. So finally, hopefully, this is the last thing we need for this cocktail. So I have ice in my uh, mixer. I also have um, this, which is our cocktail strainer. I don't know if that's what I need right, right now. I, I don't care. We're just getting through this at this point. <laughs> it's been too long. Something that I thought was literally going to take me half an hour has taken me over a day. So, I'm also not going to measure it, because uh, as we've established, I don't measure, I just guess. So let's go, I know there's about 300 milliliters in here, so let's just go for that much, maybe a bit more. Try and melt this ice over here. Okay, so that's that in there, it's probably about half, so it's probably more than I needed. Great. Maybe this is why they sent me the um, measuring things. This is anti-clockwise. I'm gonna class that as stirred, though my ice is all in one big lump, so who knows what's going on. <sighs> Let's just do this. Hopefully this works. Wow, magic! Gotta say, I'm a little underwhelmed by this one, considering the first one we had that was so cool, um, and it really did feel very magical, and it was fairly easy to put together. I think this is kind of tinted with the fact that it's taken so long to get to this point. I just, I don't think this is the correct kind of cocktail to put in the monthly cocktail kits. I think if you're doing something like, like this, I didn't know it was gonna be so much and so intense um, to get to this point. I kind of thought, like I did last night when I started filming this, that it would kind of just be as we did before, I would make up a cocktail. Um, I guess I didn't really look at the figures, the numbers of what I needed, because um, that did quite quickly give away that it was going to be more than just one drink. Um, but I don't know, I just feel like this has taken so long, and there were instructions that said this may take a couple of minutes, and I was literally straining that thing. About an hour with a coffee strainer, and then about another hour with the, uh, the gin strainer I did end up using, so that wasn't a quick process. And okay, part of it wasn't fun for me, because I ended up holding the coffee filter, um, which meant I had to sit there where the, whereas when I was using the gin filter I just put that, as you saw, I just put that down and left that and carried on with something else so part of it is to do with that but I just, I'm not sure this is the correct cocktail kit to put in the monthly cocktail kit not without warning that it's so different from the first one anyway, let's give it a taste and see if it was worth all that effort I bloody hope it was it smells very nice It is nice. It's very nice. <laughs> I think the peach, the syrup that's in it really comes through more at the end uh, rather than the start. The first hit's very Aperol. I can't really taste the vodka in it, but as I look at it, I do realize and remember how much alcohol is actually in this. Um, so maybe I won't have much more than this. If it did something a little bit more spectacular, and please like, let me know in the comments if I did something wrong. If it was supposed to do something a bit more magical at the end there, rather than just 
be as it is. I just feel like it was a lot of work and a lot of effort for very little payoff. Um, so that's kind of why I'm a little bit disappointed with this one. Um, would I say get it? I'd still say it's worth getting, just be aware of what you're coming into. All in all, I mean, it tastes fine, it's lovely, it's a good little cocktail. Um, I'm glad I got a lot of it. I will probably make it again, fully aware of the fact that it takes about 24 hours to do so. I would highly suggest getting a gin strainer and not trying to use the provided coffee filters because I struggled a lot with those. As last time, all of the links to them and everything that they do and all their other products and such will be down in the description box below. But for now, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. It's been an absolute blast. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go show that like button some magic love. And if you want to support the channel, go hit subscribe and ring that bell so you don't miss next time I upload a video. Stay awesome! and I will see you all in the next video! I'm really sorry about this framing. This is what happens when I don't flip the viewfinder up.